As house prices continue to increase, closing a deal is becoming more unaffordable. Mm, well, Fox 46's chief business correspondent Taylor Young explains tonight why first time buyers are feeling the effects more than other generations. So with my first time buyers, it's kind of a tough game right now. With more than two decades in the real estate industry, Erica Wifneski says there's one thing that sets the 20 and 30 year olds entering the housing market apart from other generations. They may not know the home buying process, but they're coming in with financial prep preparation like I've never seen before in another generation. But they are facing one of the most competitive markets in U.S. history. Sellers are upping prices and incomes aren't matching. According to the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta, the median household would need 32 percent of its income to cover mortgage payments. I mean, I've been in the business for 30 some years and I can tell you this is this is new. Lori Hoffman is a mortgage loan officer. She says there are two things that home buyers have to consider due diligence fees, which can be thousands of dollars, and a gap in the loan process. You know, the market demands what people are willing to spend. The majority of homes in the Charlotte area are selling for at least $15,000 to $20,000 over asking price. So people are paying more than what the home is actually worth in the eyes of a lender. Let's just say if you said, okay, I'm comfortable spending $300 and 15,000 to try to be the best offer. Well, the appraisal may not come in at 315, it may come in at three. So there's a $15,000 gap. Where will those funds come from? Because a lot of people don't just have an extra 15,000 sitting in their bank account. Some are choosing to hold off on purchasing until the market slows down. Experts say that could be years. So it's not gonna stop, it, it is continuing to rise. Oh, that was Taylor Young reporting for us tonight. Well, mortgage rates may be low, but home prices are going through the roof. Federal Reserve officials say an average U.S. household needs just more than 32 percent of annual income to cover a mortgage payment on a median priced home. Now, prices rose at a record pace for the fourth consecutive month since July amid a shortage of homes for sale and higher prices means higher loans. And that cancels out the lower interest rate.